just test it out. Test it out. As you go through your day, ask your higher self, your intuition, your soul, where is it guiding you? What does it want you to know about this person, this situation? When you go to work, ask your higher self, your soul, your spirit, what does it feel about the current position that you're in? Is it guiding you to stay? Is it guiding you to grow within that position or is it guiding you elsewhere? See, the soul is always guiding you. We're always being guided by the soul, our higher self, to higher ground, to something that's much more expansive, something that's much more fulfilling and aligned. Test it out. Test it out. When you're around people, you don't have to say anything. Just say to yourself in your mind, what do you want me to know, higher self? inner being, soul, what do you want me to know about these friends, these people? What do you want to reveal to me about them so I can have the information that I need to make more aligned choices? What do you want me to know about my life? What do you want me to know about this situation that I've been struggling with? What's the next right step to move forward in a way that is aligned for me? What do you know about me that I don't know about myself? What is it that I don't know yet that once I figure it out and I start to believe it and accept it, I will move fully into my power and I'll be able to create the life that I want? What do you know about what needs to be healed within me? How can I heal that? Show me how to heal myself. Show me how to read for myself. Show me what things I can do, what tools I can use to support me being in my power. Show me the places where I can go to find happiness, to align with happiness, to meet like-minded people. Start testing it out. Go within. It doesn't matter how big or how small. When you're at the grocery store and you're looking to buy certain foods, certain groceries, Ask your higher self, your soul, what does it feel about that particular food? What can you start to eat that would heal you? What herbs can you take that can heal certain ailments that you have? And then trust that and follow through with it and see what happens. What you'll notice is when you start to get positive results, it reinforces your belief in yourself. And the more you believe, the more it's activated, the more you will have that as an experience the biggest issue that I feel is people don't believe in their power. They believe that it exists outside of them. They are not worthy of it. They have to be pure. They have to attune. They have to take mushrooms or ayahuasca or go get a blessing from some um, guru, be initiated in some way. And I'm simply here to tell you that there's a power inside of you that you haven't been taught how to use and tap into yet. There's a power inside of you that you don't understand. None of us really understand it, even me. But I know that it can be used to help you to heal, to help you to grow, to help you to manifest, to help you to create the life that you want, which is something that we're all struggling with in some way. How do I create what I want? How do I have more peace? Ask it. Test it out, write down what comes to you, follow through with the action steps, and then come back and revisit with the results. And then you'll begin to build this system of evidence that reinforces that you can rely on yourself and your power. And that's how you begin to trust and be in your power and stand in your light and in your truth. And once you have that, once you have that, then you can begin to create everything that you want from that power, from that light. And that's when you move into full self mastery. And that's one of the reasons why I think we came to the planet to discover that, to have fun with it and to create a relationship with it so we can create the reality that we want for ourselves. And now you know how to do that.